Hi guys, this is Kelsey from The Lost Book Reports, and this is in my mailbox, which is hosted every Sunday by The Story Siren. Um, okay, so last weekend I went to the um, Discovery Store down the street from me again, and I bought a few books. Uh, the first book is Artemis Fowl, um, The Arctic Incident. And I bought this because I read the first Artemis Fowl book, and I thought, hey, well, you know, it doesn't cost a lot of money. I didn't know which one it was, and um, might as well buy it now, though, instead of maybe buying the second book and then wanting, you know, and spending a lot of money, blah, blah, blah. Turns out this is the second book, though, so um, I'm pretty excited about that, which means now I can read the second book. Um, and basically, the description is... Artemis Fowl is at boarding school in Ireland when he re receives an urgent email from Russia. It is in a plea from a man who has been kidnapped by the Russian Mafia, his father. As Artemis rushes to his rescue, he is stopped by a familiar nemesis, Captain Holly Short, of the Leprechaun Ferry Police. But this time, instead of battling the fairies, he is going to have to join forces with them if he wants to save one of the few people in the world he loves. And it's by Ian Colfer. Uh, the next book is called A Foreign Affair by Caro Peacock, and this is back in um, eight, early 1800s um, England. This uh, girl, whose name I can't remember, uh, finds out that her father's been killed in a duel and is kind of uh, trying to figure out uh, what happened to that, that whole mystery. I've actually already read this book. I read it about two years ago. It's a good book. I really enjoy it. And I know there's there's like book two somewhere, and I don't know which one of book two is. And I own this book. I know I do, but it's I don't have it here. It's somewhere in my mom's boxes that she packed from our old house, and so I just bought it again to have in my um, library here, um, or bookshelf here. The next book is As Simple as Snow by Gregory Galloway, and this book just looked interesting and then I kind of read about it and it has to do with like this girl who goes missing and um I guess something about cryptic codes and magic and that's cool it sounded interesting yeah and then books I've been waiting for forever I ordered these and first week in January through random buzzers and uh, like they never showed up and I was kind of giving up hope that they'd ever arrive and then they did and it was coincidental because I was actually writing a thank you note to Random House for sending me The Girl in the Park by um, Mariah Fredericks and um, then these arrived so it worked out right um, it's ingenuine or ingen you know I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm probably going to sound retarded for not being able to pronounce this. Um, it's part of the Flapper series. It's book two by Jillian Larkin. Book one is Vixen, and it's really good. It's in the 1920s, Flapper's era. And so there's a... I can't remember. because What also... I have to remember which one this is. Okay, so, because the other one is uh, Bright Young Things by Anna Galbertson. They kind of came out around the same time, so I was trying to remember which one was which, like which girls were who. And this one is three girls who uh, live in Chicago, but were raised like very prim and proper, and now are trying to become flapper girls, or, you know, that kind of era. They were belling. And then the next one is called... You Have Seven Messages by Stuart Lewis, and this one is about um, a girl whose mother passes away, and then she finds her phone, her mother's phone, I think. I need to read these before I start doing this. Yeah, she finds her mom's cell phone, and on her mom's cell phone there are seven messages that mainly, um, and she pretty much so she can learn the whole truth about her mother's death. And, yeah, so that is all I got in my mailbox. I'm pretty happy. Uh, I had a good weekend. I went to the Los Angeles Zoo today. I was really impressed. It's a nice zoo. 
and uh, don't forget to spring forward, everyone.